guys let me tell you guys I took alcohol for the first time in my life <laughs> the day I took alcohol for the very first time in my life hey guys I went out with my girlfriends and um, it was a birthday for one of my friends and we went out to celebrate her birthday I remember was uh, a girl who had grown up in church and I had not taken any alcohol there before neither had I gone to social joints at night but this friend of mine requested uh, that um, we go out and I said why not it is her birthday and she was my best friend so guys we went <laughs> it was not only I who was invited for that birthday there were very very many girls and uh, it was fun being in the company of many girls Guys, we enjoyed her birthday to the fullest. We ate the best foods. And uh, we drank sodas and juices and all that. That was during the day. We ate a cake. We cut a cake. And uh, we enjoyed her birthday to the fullest, guys. <laughs> what time was it? But then, by the time we finished eating and uh, the cake and uh, doing all the, uh, the stuff about uh, meals and all that, it was about 7 in the evening. So, people had started uh, coming in, in, the, the, in the, the, that place, that social place that we had, she had hired. People are starting uh, coming in for the evening uh, fun. And guys, uh, having never been out there, like uh, in a social joint at night, I was kind of, you know, interested in seeing what happens out there at this hour and in fact the, the the other ladies that i was with none of them were the other girls i was a girl the other girls none of them were, were in a hurry to go home so we continued celebrating the birthday and uh um at some point uh some guys joined us where we were the friends of the the other ladies and they joined us and our group grew bigger and bigger and fun increased guys hey then the next thing i i noticed is that uh, some tinned alcohol was being served at our table and we were like uh, the waiter comes with with the with the, with the, with the tins and places them ahead of i mean in front of us and we were like where are from and you know because everybody was merry making uh, a friend has just sent that a friend has just sent that and ladies were like, oh, say, uh, tell him thank you. Tell him thank you. Guys, ahead of me were some teens. Uh, my neighbor, my, my girl's, uh, my girl uh, neighbor was also having hers. The other one was having hers. And everybody started popping them, popping them. And uh, it's like they knew, they knew what, 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 um, what drinks they were. As for me, I had not taken alcohol. So I asked my girlfriend, I didn't want to look very naive. So I asked my girlfriend who was seated next to me, what, what is this? And she told me, ah, this is an alcoholic drink, but it has some small percentage of alcohol in it. And I, I had known that there were some brand names of alcohol that were like a Tasca. I th I, okay, I used to know it because my dad used to drink. Pilsner, such things. But this, this was a name I had not, I had not known. And it was like, um, was it Guarana? Something like that. And I was like, ah, oh, okay. So I asked, am I going to get drunk? And they, ah, no, this one does not even take you anywhere. You just feel uh, good, but you don't get drunk. So we started drinking. I took alcohol for the first time. Guys, hey, hey, hey. it was that uh, sweetened uh, brand, very sweet. When you are taking it like it is very tasty, it is very sweet, very sweeter than a, a juice, and I, I, it was like smell of, smell of something, guys. I took. Hey, on finishing, mostly was coming. It was just coming. It was. I think somebody was just seeing beautiful girls and buying. I'm telling you, we never spent our money. We never ever spent our money that evening, but we had enough. I ended up taking about six of those things six of them but i remember by the time i was taking the fourth one i started feeling very tipsy and uh, at some point 
I felt like I, I, I wanted to puke. I went to the ladies, freshened up, came back, sat, continued taking the fifth one. But when I took the sixth one, guys, I blacked out. I did not know where I was. The other girls, remember, they were also drunk. So I slept on the table. As I was being told, that was what I was being told. I slept on the table like this. And I think I was woken up from that table by a waiter at about 3 in the morning. Guys, I was alone. I was alone. Let me tell you guys, <laughs> go out there in the company of people who are drunk at your own peril. When they, they started uh, I mean, uh, going home, they did not remember. They did not remember me. I think they were so drunk. They just walked to their vehicles and they, they, they uh, being drunk and whoever was driving them home, I do not know. They were driven and I was there, left alone sleeping on the table over over a uh, social place, drinking place. And a waiter woke me up. I looked, I did not know where I was. I tried to remember who I had come with. Guys, it was the most horrific uh, time of my life. So I questioned, at, after some time, after sobering up, I was given some water. After a bit, sobering up a bit, I was feeling very heavy in my head. I I requested, uh, uh, the, the waiter asked if I had money for a taxi. And uh, fortunately I had some money. And I, it was called for me. And the taxman was told to drop me home. So guys, <laughs> experiences that can even bring death. Imagine if those people were bad. Imagine if they were bad. And they give me out to a certain man and I'm driven to the, somebody's house in that stupor when I was very drunk. What could it, that man have done to me? Or the men that were selling this alcohol. I was only lucky because I didn't even know who was selling the alcohol that we were drinking. I was just protected by God. Guys, like and subscribe to this channel. This is the channel where I discuss issues of life. This is Never Age TV. Subscribe guys and see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.